Hello and welcome to the CMI NIA training class. My name is Diego Trazzi and I'm currently the lead water technical director at one of the major visual effect companies in New Zealand. It's, um, it's an honor for me to be here talking about NIA with you today and discuss some of the technology and challenges that we face to create the most incredible shots that I have ever been working during the last few years. Um, despite being a relatively new package, NIAD has been already used in production for uh, eye-hand fluid simulation in a long list of movies during these last two and a half, three years. The purpose of this course is to understand the UI of NIAD and uh, understand how to break down a big shot into smaller elements. So then with NIAD we can cleverly uh, produce graphs that recreate elements such as water, splash, foam and bubbles. My personal experience with this package goes back to the very first alpha version ever released and um, when I joined this company. I have found some interesting articles online and I started collecting them and I will uh, be passing you these uh, articles um, in the PDF that is provided with uh, this chapter. Um, I particularly found interesting uh, a talk from SIGGRAPH 2010 which talks about the digital water. Um, there are a few other articles um, that you can find online and we'll be um, sharing these articles as I said on the PDF. Um, but let's um, Let's stop here and talk about my personal experience with this package. Um, when I first joined uh, the, this company, I, uh, I was asked to, to simulate some really large uh, portion of ocean, as well as river rapids. And after seeing the previous animation, I started investigating on what technology could give us believable results in a reasonable amount of time given the large simulation requests. Um, I therefore started analyzing and testing other um, several commercial solutions that were available at the market at that time. I uh, though quickly realized that the limitation of smooth particle hydrodynamic solvers were not suitable for the type of shots that um, I had to work on. Um, is um, the smooth particle hydrodynamics uh, do really a great job when it's, uh, it's a small scale simulation or when you have to um, simulate um, splash and foam uh, but for uh, larger elements they have a hard time when um, they um, have to simulate things like large tanks and therefore we st I started looking into different type of um, solvers and that's when we um, first contact Marcus from Exotic Matter. Um, during the, the following few months, we had an intense time uh, working and achieving um, quality and the, the good quality required by the movies. And um, we develop a great amount of tools and solution for the entire ocean simulation as well as rivers and small drops and even for viscous liquids. So um, after the suc uh, success of this, um, this work and the incredible amount of uh, um, resources and, and, and work that we put into, um, input into NIAD, uh, we uh, started to adopt um, this package as a standard for the water team and for um, the future projects. Uh, but not also, um, NIAD being a commercial product started growing a lot of interest and around which um, a small community of artists started uh, sharing the, the graph files, uh, images and videos of their own work. Um, so after um, after first phase of uh, introduction and uh, alpha version, we um, 
we started um, uh, using um, this package for other projects and um, unfortunately uh, despite this article being public on on the net it's still unclear if I can um, if I can claim any of this work as mine nor if I can uh, I can uh, use this content so to avoid any problem with um, with people would be happy to to get uh, um, get trouble out of this stuff I I will be um, I won't be claiming any of these uh, these pictures or any of this work but instead I will be uh, walking through some of the the articles that we found on um, on the net and I won't be um, um, discussing about any of uh, of these things instead I'm here um, tonight to to talk about uh, technical aspects and um, and how um, to set up um, certain uh, water simulation in uh, in Nyad. Um, another thing I wanted to mention in this first chapter is that today there's uh, already um, quite a big community. Well, compared to the the first first time I used Nyad, and uh, there's Vimeo channels and forums that are available on uh, or online. And um, I will. Uh, I, I'm gonna pass you this PDF where you can find all the the articles and also where you can find resources for the Nyad body, which is open source as well as in studio, and where you can find um, um, the support for uh, the Zendesk, which is where you can post your questions uh, uh, regard to Nyad. Um, to conclude this uh, this chapter, I wanted to mention and give you the opportunity to um, discover um, exoticmatter.com, which is where Nyad is uh, is will be released, and everybody will be able to get it from from this website. Um, there is also a non-commercial edition, which will become available a few months after Nyad is released, and as well. There is a 30 days free trial on the commercial edition so that you can still use and learn Nyad before you making a purchasing decision. Um, this concludes the chapter, <coughs> but there's one more thing that I wanted to um, to put in, uh, in this first section and that's the installation instruction for the Nyad scene files. Um, I'm going to provide um, these tutorials with all the example scenes so you can um, just copy them and modify them and see how I created them but um, in order to make it compatible to all the computers out there I had to uh, use some environment files so if you are about to open up some of this scene please first read this PDF and um, set your environment variables for the Nyad CMI so that then all the relative paths inside the, the scene files that I've prepared will be finding all the connections. Um, this concludes the first chapter. I hope you enjoyed it up to this point and I'll see you in the next one.